Hello everyone. The USAMO this year has finally taken place a couple of months later than usual. For the problem one this year we have a geometry problem and it's, it has been quite a while since the last time I had geometry as the first problem. So let's take a look at what is in store for us. For this problem we have a fixed acute triangle ABC inscribed in a circle with center O. Available point X is chosen on the minor arc of AB. And segment CX and AB intersect at D. O1 and O2 are the circumcenters of the triangle ADX and BDX. In this diagram, I've put in the three perpendicular bisectors to produce the point O1. And notice that the perpendicular bisector of AX actually passes through O. Similarly, I've put in the three perpendicular bisectors of the triangle to produce the point O2, and the perpendicular bisector of Bx passes through O. So the problem is to determine all points x for which the area of the triangle O, O1, O2 is minimized. Now this is quite an interesting problem because it's not often the case that we are asked to minimize the area of a triangle for a geometry problem. Now despite the unusual problem statement, I think, as with most geometry problems, we would like to start with some amount of angle chasing. And actually over here, we can quickly notice that due to the right angles, we have four points over here which are concyclic. So these four points over here. The conclusion is that this angle and this angle, they are actually equal. Now another way to see this is to notice that O01 perpendicular to AX and O1O2 perpendicular CX implies that this angle is actually a 90 degrees rotation of the second angle. Regardless of how uh, this conclusion is reached, we conclude that this angle, this angle, and therefore this angle, they are all equal. Similarly, we have these four points here, they are concyclic. And this let us deduce that this angle is equal to this angle, which in turn is equal to this angle. So if you look at the diagram now, we realize that the triangle of interest to us, O, O1, O2, is actually similar to the fixed triangle, CBA. What this means is that if we want to minimize the area of O, O1, O2, we actually have to minimize the length O1, O2 itself. And from our diagram, it is sort of clear how we want to proceed next. Because the diagram coincidentally has the perpendicular projection of O1, O2 onto the line AB. And if we recall this fit of projection over here, they are actually the midpoints of AD and BD respectively. So this means that O1, O2 when projected gives you half the length of AB, which is a fixed length. Therefore, if we want to minimize the length of O1, O2, we actually want it to be parallel to AB so that the length is equal to the projected length. And when is O1, O2 parallel to AB? Remember, we have to relate it back to the point X. Well, O1, O2 is perpendicular to CX. So the condition that O1, O2 is parallel to AB translates exactly to the condition that CX is perpendicular to AB. And then, there you have it. The required condition for X is CX is perpendicular to AB. This is quite an interesting problem because it involves a number of different ideas beyond just basic angle chasing. And in future videos, I'll be covering some of the other interesting problems in this year USAMO as well. Do comment in the comment section below what is your favorite problem from this year's test and stay tuned. See you soon.